okay so can you uh, have you all open this uh, window yes yes ma'am thank you okay now uh, in the turbo c++ only i'll run the programs data structure programs <coughs> before uh, introducing into the programming so let me uh, explain ide okay here you have lot of options here okay uh, so you can arrange in cascade windows if you have opened so many windows you can arrange in casco cascade mode and tile mode like that and uh, one more thing options you have here in the options you have to set the directories <clears throat> correctly uh, by default anyway it will include c colon slash turbo c3 slash include right and then library files you have to link the library files to the program so these two by default it will come okay in case if you change the directory then you cannot run the program because this include files will be there in turbo c turbo c3 hash sorry slash include in that directory it will be there all include files and library files will be here and you can <coughs> you can redirect your output to some other directory i'll create a directory called uh, ds in turbo c turbo c3 okay all my programs i can store it where in in this particular directory i can uh, store all my uh, source uh, source files and output files i can store in this directory so like this you can set the path so that uh, if if you save in one particular directory then it's easy for you to remove obj files and exe files okay subsequently it's easy for you to manage the files for that reason you set the path correctly okay now i'll say okay okay this is one important important thing you need to notice okay now uh, anyway in turbo c uh, c3 i have uh, <coughs> what is the directory name let's give cls <coughs> so look at here uh, see the directory listing in this directory listing you have uh, bgi bin class lib but ds is not there right so then again uh, you'll get linker error to avoid that because we are redirecting all of our uh, outflow output files to which directory ds directory right so i have to create the directory how do you create a directory mkdi or directory name okay so what is the directory name i have uh, included there ds right so cd ds we'll see now it's there yeah it's there right so earlier it was not there now you can see ds is there <coughs> okay cd okay now is the uh, is this is the uh, ds is yeah so now uh, <coughs> cd bin exit okay so now with this uh, <coughs> i have set the path so that my output files and source files will be there in ds directory okay then uh, remaining all options we'll see later on okay what is the first header file i have to include <coughs> hash include stdi was so is it case sensitive yes is it case sensitive is c programming is case sensitive yes it is yes okay now um, you only know the programming skills okay directly i'll start with the array because the first program is you have to perform the operations on array so before uh, uh doing all the operations we'll see line by line how you can declare array uh, all that okay now int a when uh, sorry uh okay i'll not um, initialize with any value now one two three four five okay so what will happen what is the size of the array now <coughs> 
Five. Okay, so five. I have initialized with uh, five elements, right? Now I have to display the elements of the array. How do I display the elements of the array now? For that reason, you have to include the for loop for i equal to zero, i less than i less than five, i plus plus. Okay, then what you need to do? Printf. So for example, I want to claim, I want to print like this: a of i. That is a of percentage t is equal to percentage t okay and after ev displaying every element i have to add new line okay now for the first percentage t i and second percentage t is to be replaced with what a of i right so now how do you access the array elements through the index, right? So the first element is, you know, our index starts from where? Is it one, two, three, or four? Yeah, first you have to reply. <coughs> our index starts from? Zero, no, no, no. Zero. Zero, by default it is zero. Exactly, you are right. So then the last element, what is the index of the last element? Four. Four. Okay, now, so we'll see here how you can now print this. And one more thing here, I can print the address of these elements also. Okay, so here, what I'll do is I'll give the tab here, um, address of A of percentage T equal to percentage X. Why percentage x? Because it's in hexadecimal number system address, right? So for that reason, I'm using percentage, uh, percentage x. Okay, the first percentage t is to be replaced with i. And the second one is, how do you print the address of any variable? <coughs> how do you print the address of any variable? Ampersand? Variable name. Yes, ma'am. Yes, exactly. So, um, person variable name. Yeah. Thank you so much. Okay. Now, so with this, uh, I think I can run this program. Let's see. Head. Okay. So, now you can now uh, get the answer, uh, Ritik. I'll just save this as, uh, what is the folder I said I'm going to uh, save this? In which folder? Yes. DS. DS. DS, right. That DS is in which uh, which directory? Turbo C3, right? So it's in Turbo, Turbo C3. Okay. So I'll save this as first ar array. dot c okay. so now i'll run this program uh, so before running the program uh, what you are required to do first you are required to compile when you compile what kind of file will be created what is the file it is going to create um rakshita Mom? When you compile the program, mm -hmm. it will create exe file or what? Exe file, mom. Exe file, uh, obj file. Uh. Mm -hmm. Exe file, I'm going obj file create, Agatema. You can see, check that because we have set the path here. Okay, directory list uh, in this uh, directories, we have already set the path. No, you can see. Okay, so look at here output directory is ds now. So, according to you, exe fine, it will create right. We'll see now. You can go to DOS shell and you can check it what all files it, it has been created. CLS to clear the screen. Okay, then. Uh, <coughs> 
CDDS. Okay, so DAR. Look at here. So I have actually run the program also. So if it is just compilation, um, what will be there actually? <coughs> OBJ file. file will be created. Be yeah. created. OBJ file. When you run the program, oh. OB, OBJ file. Okay. So I'll uh, since already exe file is there here, I'll run here itself. Okay, array. Okay, look at here. So how we are getting here? A zero is one. Address of A zero is FFEC. Okay. So anyway, it's not uh, clear. Uh, exit. So because uh, new line, if I put, then it will be nice, right? Now I just compile this. And then alter. Yeah. So look at here. Uh Ritwik. So is that right, Ritwik? Look at here. Can you? Can you make out the address of the first element is what? FFEC, then FFEE, FFF0, right? So uh, how much difference is there between the addresses? What is the difference? Between? Two, two. two, two, right? Two, two, that two indicates difference. what, how much, uh, yeah. How many bytes of memory is reserved here? Two. Two bytes of memory. Okay. So instead of this, what I'll do is I'll make this as float. And then we'll check it what's going to happen. Okay. Float. And um, this should be changed to what format string? Okay. Let it be this I percentage D. So what is the format string now? Percentage F. Okay. Yeah. Even percentage D also no problem because uh, built-in typecasting will is going to have happen. So and nothing is going to happen because all elements what we have stored here is one, two, three, four, five is integer variables integer values only, right? So that's the reason it will not truncate anything. Okay, yeah. Next, alter. Okay, yeah. So look at here. How it is printing now all uh, is uh, some problem we got here right so what is the mistake we have done we'll see now so percentage t yeah so can you please tell me what is the mistake we have done here yes yeah Look at the output window. Called I two times. One minute, one minute. I'll just. Okay. We'll see. Uh, some mistake uh, we have done. So you must be very happy when you get mistakes. Then you'll get hold on the programming skill. So you must feel happy about if you get more mistakes while practicing the program. One minute, I don't know what's happening here. Okay, let me wait for some time. Okay. Like this, ask you more. Okay, no. So what uh, what is the mistake we have done here? Alt one.
Yeah, can you please tell me, Alt one? So what is I value here? I is also flow, right? Okay, so can I be float here? Putra Kurbeka Pathakshna identify Madbeko. Yeah, so why I'm running? Because you should go get hold on the subject. Minor details also you should know. Okay, so what is uh, the mistake we have done here? I am saying percentage T and what kind of integer we, sorry, what kind of variable we have declared here? I is, I was float. Now I declared it as integer variable. Okay, so can I do now? Can I run, run the program now? Okay, Alt one, Alt or run the program. So you see, now you are getting one, look at here, because previous also it's there. So I have not cleared the, cleared the screen, right? So look at the difference. Can you able to see the difference here? FFE2, FFE6. Next is FFEA. You know, six, seven, eight, nine, then A, right? B, C, D, E. So what is the difference here? between two addresses four four so how many bytes uh, will be reserved for integer sorry uh, for float four. it is four, four, four. four. yeah and uh, we have not cleared the screen so we'll see how to clear the screen that you might have you know very well because most of you are familiar with c programming can you please tell me what i need to add here lr scr one, one doubt ma'am one in Shawn Shabartin in doubt. Okay, CLR, SCR. Okay, then, um, yeah, so how do you take the help of this uh, Alt H? Okay, so particular topic help can take here. Okay, so here, what is the uh, header file I need to include here? What is missing? Conio.h. Conio.h. Yeah, thank you. So I need to include that. We'll include that account. I would H here. Hash include uh, con I would H. Okay, then. So after that, um, I hope uh, it will work fine. Uh, I'll come back to you, uh, Ritwik. Okay, wait for some time. I'll just uh, come back to you. Uh, Ma'am, what happened? Ma'am, ma means when it was getting interrupted twice, twice. Oh, no, I didn't follow. Don't, I didn't follow you, ma'am. Oh, okay. Don't worry. Don't worry. Uh, so I'll trace it once again. Okay. Uh, now look at here. A zero is one. Okay. What is the address of the first element? F F E two. Okay. So now, is it legible to read? Is it legible to read? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Thank you, Pa. Okay. Now, with this, we have <laughs> done for float also. Now, we'll see for character. Okay, now. Uh, character array. So, when it is a character, so you have to enclose every element with what? Single quote. Very good, Ma. Single quote. Okay, I have to enclose within single code. And you have to display what kind of um, element here. So array elements are what? <laughs> Is it percentage F or percentage C? Percentage C. Percentage C. The meaning all remains same, right? Yeah, we'll see now, we'll compile this and see. Okay, so because I'm in uh, second window, which one I have to run? The program which is there in the first window. So shift to first window, alt or. Yeah, run that. Look at the difference between the two addresses here is, is it one. still remains the same? No. No, no it changed one? to one byte. One, yeah, exactly, it's one. Okay, uh, Ritika, I have answered your question. So how many bytes of memory is required to store a character? One byte. Yes, ma'am. 
Yeah, you got it. Yes, ma'am, got Have it. Seen the output screen. Yeah. Okay. Now, uh, most of you know, uh, I think tracing also, but still, uh, this is very very important when you are running any data structure program, because especially when you are working on linked list, if you are not uh, like storing the correct pointer address, okay, then you are unable to traverse through the remaining elements of the linked list. So for that reason, I wanted you to learn uh, this tracing of program. Okay, that I'll tell you how you can trace that. Yeah. So, anyone of you can you help me how I can trace that? So, uh, okay. Now, just I'll add watches. That is, you when you are executing the program, what is the intermediate value of i? What value i is taking? Okay. Now, at present, am I running the program? Am I running the program? No. No. Right. So, for that reason, it is undefined symbol. So, it's again, all d. Okay, so if I add watches here, uh, okay, so what else I need to uh, uh, know here? A, array elements. Okay, then again, every iteration, you are accessing one element at a time. So for that reason, what, how you can access every element one at a time? That is A of I. How now? Yeah. Now, I'll trace line by line. How to trace line by line? Alt R. Okay. Okay. So, function F7. Which one you have to use? Function F7. Okay. Yeah. Look at here. Still it is undefined. Then. Can you trace it by yourself? Yeah, some it's struck. One minute, I'll just, um, you, you trace it by yourself. One minute, I'll just come back to you. Okay, ma'am. Yeah, how many of you have traced this program? How many of you have traced? Are you all there in the meeting? Yes, ma'am. Huh. Okay. Yes. No problem.
okay f7 yeah uh, window i'll just arrange it is in cascade mode oh so which one i message window look at the value of i here what value it's taking i can you able to see now what is the value when you compile com compilation time only it will allocate the memory right can you hear me can you hear me yes ma'am okay for a i and all when it's going to allocate the memory during the compilation time or run time during compilation time run compilation compilation time, time. right okay so now okay so it will clear the screen okay now i value so it is 878 why 878 why it is 878 some junk value is being stored already that i might have used by some other program it has stored 878 so that's the reason you are getting that 878 now i am initializing to what i am initializing to zero now look at here i value is zero and what are the elements of a it's a character right 1 2 3 4 5 5 fine correct huh? so what is a 0 a 0 is nothing but 1 it will print 1 now okay yeah then what is a 1 a 1 is 2 how the pa a 2 is 3 you can see in the output screen also all three okay you can see look at here so we are in which iteration third iteration right so already we have printed a0 a1 now the current value of i is what what is the current value of i so we'll see now if you don't know also no problem
sorry for the network issue sorry i'm uh, keep on talking that's the reason uh, no one was answering i was wondering so then i saw here meeting uh, its connection last can you able to hear me now yes, yes ma'am uh, sorry yes, yes ma'am okay i am keep on talking <laughs> nobody reply i'm asking the question <laughs> okay yeah look at here the way you can run the program here yeah so i'll just come back to this window alt enter okay look at at each iteration you can see if you are in the window in tile mode okay look at here you have different uh, way of arranging the windows so tile cascade okay so if you arrange in tile mode you can come to know look at here what it is printing in the output screen also you can see the current value of i is now what four what it has to print in output screen a of four is what sorry a of uh, i a of three now i value is three so what is a of three zero one two three four three? four four it has to what it has to print now in print man back makla a of three is equal to four yes it is it printing correctly yeah yes yeah so and the last iteration okay the last iteration what is <coughs> <coughs> what it has to print now look at five so with this what is the value of five so this for loop will be executed while i less than 5 since i now 5 is 5 is less than 5 no no so it will come out for loop and it is waiting for you to enter some value some character get ch so with that you can terminate the program okay so this is how this all uh, this program will work so why i have shown you this tracing part is because so in each iteration you can come to know what's happening in case if you might have done any mistake you can easily correct it how the makla how the yes ma'am hmm? yeah thank you maatadthiri avaga avaga enaru bekanta kelta irthini ekare ee tara connection hot hodre mobile nandello dura ittirthini in mel hatra ittkotini so that uh, in case uh, if something goes wrong you can uh, call me because complete uh, display is this one only turbo c only i am using okay so that's the reason okay napa yeah so look at the output column na alli hang bastu okay okay na illi all w on ta idiyala all hog bitu you have this output window ta ide adu na open maadabodu amma you can open this window Okay. Oh, okay. 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 So then you make tile arrangement. Okay, na? Um, try more things. Nan bari idam. Okay. Um, so, I thought. I thought. Ah, huh? oh, you're practicing um, good thing. Even uh, if <laughs> you all practice uh, good thing, zoom. Look at here. If I zoom, this output screen will be. Visible. Okay, now look. Look at this is the output screen. It has got yes, like uh, scrolling. Uh, this also scroller also is it's there. You can scroll through also in case if it is exceeding one page. Okay. Yeah. So we'll go back to that scene arrangement. Okay. Uh, what is that arrangement? Cascade arrangement only. I'll go because programming is very important for me right now. Yeah. So instead of this, we'll make a change here. Um, I'll put a character now, which with this, uh, it will terminate the program. Okay, done. So you got the idea of how to trace the program. Yeah. Yes. All of you. Yeah. Okay. Then. 
when you are writing the program don't write everything together make it modular it is modular because you know that and it is structured you know it is uh, c structured programming right so don't mess up everything don't copy from the record you just plan first okay so what is that question asked you in the uh, in the program list perform the operations on the array that is the thing you are required to do in the program so in that case first you need to create the array how the then what are the operations you can perform on the array addition deletion and updation correct now so insertion deletion then then so you need to traverse right you need to display the elements of the array right that is most important what are all the elements stored in the array that you are required to store or display so that also you are required to do how the pa so that is three operations apart from that you need to search the element okay so these are the four options you need to add and then fifth option is you have to exit from the program we'll do one by one okay anyway since i'm lazy i don't want to get a user input but this should not happen uh, uh, when you write the program see i cannot initialize i cannot accept only five elements per uh, array it it is not always static right so user may require different set of inputs he may want five input he may want 10 inputs right it varies we'll check this as integer array okay integer and um, here i'm not ma'am can we not in ma'am can we not include this as a like a path variable in the windows and use and use notepad and uh, cmd to execute this ma'am you can yeah you can, you can do it but uh, uh, id is uh, this id is better because look at here the color yeah. changes so int is a keyword and main is a function and look at the variable is in green color and <coughs> if you have not uh, uh enclose the same uh, like double quotes here so look at remaining all will be in the red as soon as you see remaining all red you can make out that you have not closed with the double quote right it's easy yes, to uh, see like if you have done that's the reason you, most of the time um, this id better to use the id instead of notepad even you know no now for eclipse uh, for uh, java you are using eclipse right Add a no, no, no. which one? Um, actually, we are using VS Code, ma'am. VS Code. Okay. Visual Studio you Code. You can use anything. Anything you can use. Anything. <coughs> that is also IDE, right? Yes, ma'am. And the code Notepad block plus plus. Yes, yeah, ma'am. Code block is also there. Yeah. So now I'll make this as a ten. And it is integer only i. So I'll take off the next line. and uh, make it as a single line yeah so and uh, i need to accept how many elements you want to enter for a array for that reason i'm using one more variable called n okay so uh, uh tell me how i can give the input suppose yeah enter how many elements you want to accept for the array Okay, so why puts? Because put string. So put string mo, uh, means what? What will happen automatically? It will include the new line character, right? After displaying this, how many elements? So slash and including slash and is not required. Alva pa. Then what I need to accept now? Scan if. Can you please tell me scan if? Percentage D. Yeah. How do you? Uh, which one I have to accept now? For which variable? n a o am person n right n so in that address you have to store the value right so for that is it am person n so during the compilation time only it has already allocated the memory for n i a 10 how many bytes of memory is already allocated for a total 10 
ಎಷ್ಟ್ ಪೈಟ್ಸ್ ಟೋಟಲಿ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಪೈಟ್ಸ್ ಓಕೆ ಯೂಸರ್ ಇನ್ಪುಟ್ ಡಿಪೆಂಡಿಂಗ್ ಆನ್ ದ್ಯೂ ಆಫ್ ಎನ್ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಪರ್ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಲೂಪ್ right so this what i need to do the change here i less than yes ma'am n n very good ma'am i less than n okay so now the thing is i need to accept the elements of the array right it is not static now so how do i accept the elements of the array <laughs> hmm chanag hogta ide okay so now look at here head you know in for loop we will start yeah. ready mm, scan of uh, and the uh, percentage uh, whatever t percentage or comma percentage am percent kelappa uh, am percent a of i a square versus i correct Okay. Next. With that, we have accepted the elements of the array. Is it sufficient? Is it sufficient? You need to perform many operations on this array. Once you have created with the n elements, okay, so you may require to insert some more elements. You may require to delete some elements and you may require to display also what are the contents of the array and you may require to search for the element. So how do you do that? For that, you are required to display the menu. So what you wanted to do? For the end user, you have to convey something, no? So for that, we'll create a menu and based on the menu, okay, in the menu, uh user is going to some uh, give some input based on the input you are required to perform some operation okay so i'll make this as okay int choice int choice or ch let me make it simple int ch if okay ch equal to what men will hear any doubt so then what i need to do now here so menu function i have to write so what is the written type here what is the written type int are you all there yes ma'am yeah yes, ma int menu yeah menu yeah so what do you call this uh, first line as it's a signature or prototype and then you have to define the functionality of this function that is body of the function you have to define so what you are required to perform in this function that you are defining so signature plus body of the function will give you the definition of the function right okay now excuse me ma'am uh, see print c hey ma'am ma'am does uh, signature mean declaration of the function is it declaration. so declaration yes yes okay ma'am declaration is nothing but signature okay now i think in java you are using signature most of the time mm. right yes ma'am yeah. okay so now um i'll just show, give uh, like this puts um <coughs> array the slash in array operations okay <laughs> and whenever you display menu <coughs> we'll clear the previous content also okay no uh, sometimes uh, you may require to see let it be there let us not clear the contents okay uh, depending on the requirement we'll see now puts next what are the operations you want to perform on this 
ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಯಾಷನ್ ಹೇಳಕ್ ಆಗತ್ತಪ್ಪ help me to do this yeah next updation uh, deletion sak insertion antandre updation ne agutt alva ma next display athwa traverse search okay display okay so search first got paid no okay search okay then ಕ್ಲಿಯರ್ ಟು the end user so one is for insertion and two is for deletion and three is for search and four is for display and if you want to quit from this program then what you need to do it's ready fine exit how the are you all doing along with me now print f print f enter your choice okay so now you have to input what kind of variable what kind of value integer percentage d um rakshita are you there ma yes ma'am yeah okay choice okay then is it sufficient if i accept here is it sufficient no we must return it to the main function exactly you are right okay return choice okay we have written menu now okay when you are writing the program also please organize yourself right one by one don't copy from the record you will not learn anything with with that okay like this you have to uh, write the program one by one okay so once depending on the choice you are required to perform the different kinds of operation okay now what i'll do is switch okay switch choice this ch okay. so what are the options we have given here the case ch right first one is okay i need to write some function okay which will insert the elements into the array so the the then this why break yeah why break why break ma this break is required yes, in switch statement yes why that is all the program absence of break will make all the case to work like execute so shift insert to case choice and the hack back up already we have we are saying switch ch so what are the possible values ch will take now what are the possible values we are giving one two three four it is one it is insert if it is two it is what delete 
you need to call which uh, function delete function okay then yeah. next next uh, how many we wanted yeah so i think uh, it's sufficient right three three is what three search we have given yes ma'am search okay next ma four display display yes yeah uh, other one uh, may know the name of the other student uh, along with the uh, Rakshita. One more person is answering. May know the name of that person. No. Vaishalini, ma'am. Vaishalini. Okay. Sorry, I am unable to see your faces. I cannot interact with you directly. This is the sad part of it. Okay. So now. This is choice case five. Is it required to give default? We'll set the default. So other than these options, if you give, let it go to default. Okay now. Okay, yeah. So put as nice. You have performed. What all operations on adding? Okay, so we'll hold for some time. Get CH. After that, what should happen? You have to exit from the program. Exit. See how the is or no. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma yes, ma okay. So, what I'll do is I'll give like insertion, deletion, and searching. I'll leave it to you only. Only display, I'll show it right now. Yeah. When you are coming for the next class, I wanted you to perform these operations. Okay. So, complete this program and come. This is assignment for you. I'll just make the comment here. Okay. So, Madam, I'm ugly, easy, run, man, be careful. Complicated, all the muckle bit, bit, bit. How da? Hmm. Okay. Now, so what I'll do is uh, the remaining functions I'll comment. Okay. Only display I'll uh, write the program. Uh, sorry, function. look at here whatever variable i have declared it is it is local to the function that is main a a n is local and n is also local to this function so but when you perform the operation okay that is display you need to display the elements of the array that is done outside the main function so what you are required to do now how you can do this either you need to pass the values right to the function or otherwise make these two variables as global variable in mana what will we do now we we'll make it global variable okay paragra nantarane ella sombiri kala idira okay we'll make it global variable one minute it's Um, I'll go back to the program. Sorry for inconvenience. Yeah. Uh, we call uh, uh, variables, I have to make it as global. Yeah, it might be Rakshita. 
and vaishali vaishalini is right yes ma'am are are element la are and l how the okay i'll just make these two as global then if i want to make it global to all the function so where that should be declared before all the functions so because this is global for all the functions how the so int a of n comma n okay yeah so anyway <coughs> you know that like in from the main always execution start from the main right this menu what i'm calling from the main is user defined function and even insert delete display all this are user defined function how the c compiler will come to know that it's like uh, there you are going to define this kind of function for that reason you are declaring or defining the function before the main how the so in case if that prototype is not there assume that i am going to define this display after the main then what will happen to the program will it run will it run no so what i need to do now for that reason okay so let me say uh, it's not returning any value so why display so what i need to do how i can display the elements of the array using a for loop yeah int i okay puts elements of the array array okay so for loop yeah can you please tell me i equal to 0 yeah i less than 10 tell me n i plus i plus 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 semicolon hak padada illa 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 no so yeah semicolon ne hak padre en agutte all terminate agutta r that statement would get terminated okay last and the eleventh element will be displayed for example if you if the n value is 5 so a5 will be printed is it right we wanted to print what a0 to 4 we are supposed to print but what we are printing only a5 some then value gets printed alwa pa so adike en maadbeku while putting the semicolon you have to take care that is the like to switch over to python i took long time because all the time i was terminating with the semicolon i used to forgot to put that colon after the for loop right first if you start the c programming and if you start learning that python program is very difficult to switch over so all the time as soon as i write the while loop or for loop so immediately i used to put what semicolon ma'am actually uh, we have a reverse I, I case ma'am put semicolon we have a reverse case ma'am we all ah, have like well. learned python now yeah because and i had learned python okay. first okay yeah uh, that's the reason i'm yeah. uh, like so that you can remember while you are writing the program na nen helide adna ma'am it is like really confusing yes. because last time we learned uh, python then then shell we learned then php then uh, uh, what is it php then angular then so many languages we learned then suddenly we have java now then again c so which which language has what what syntax it is confusing too confusing yeah chitrana i was wondering look okay, at global like global variable okay global int and declare madra it oh global c al illa okay uh, ರುಚಿ ಜಾಸ್ತಿ ಇರಲಿ ಅಂತ ಎಲ್ಲ ಚಿತ್ರಾನ ಮಾಡಿ ಮಿಕ್ಸ್ ಮಾಡಿ ತಿನ್ನಿಸ್ತಾ ಇದ್ವಿ ಸೊ ದಟ್ ಯು ವಿಲ್ ಗೆಟ್ ಅ ಫ್ಲೇವರ್ ಆಫ್ ಆಲ್ ಲ್ಯಾಂಗ್ವೇಜಸ್ ಓಕೆ ಯಾ ಸೊ ನಾವು ಲೆಟ್ ಮಿ ನಾಟ್ ಕಮೆಂಟ್ ಆನ್ ಆಲ್ ದೀಸ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಓಕೆ ನಾವು ವಾಟ್ ಐ ನೀಡ್ ಡೂ ಸಪೋರ್ಟ್ ಇನ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಪುಟ್ ಎಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಐ ವಿಲ್ ಡೂ ಈಸ್ ಪ್ರಿಂಟ್ ಎಫ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಆಲ್ಟ್ ಒನ್ ಯಾ ಹೇಳಪ್ಪ ಪೃಥ್ವಿಕ್ ಹೇಗೆ ಪ್ರಿಂಟ್ ಮಾಡಬೇಕು ಎಲಿಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ತಯಾರಿ ಓಕೆ ಎ ಆಫ್ percentage d hel mari equal to comma okay percentage d is 
So that's all is today's show. Okay. Now, ma'am, colon. Yeah. Ma'am, semicolon. Semicolon. Not the last, ma'am. Colon. Not better. Get C. Yes, ma'am. How the last, last, in a full end. In a in a calagada one, ma'am. Alla, tumba tapma na ablu valle da gatta. So let me do. Ma'am tap. Ma'am tap gorti alla ma'am change madura na ma'am. ಇರ್ಲಿ ಕಣ ಇದ್ ಏನೋ ಬೇರೆ ಆಟ ಆಡ್ತದೆ ನನ್ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ ಬೇರೆ ತುಂಬಾ ಎಲ್ಲಾ ಫೈಲ್ಸ್ ಎನ್ ಯು ಎಸ್ ಎಂ ಫೈಲ್ ಆಗಿ ಕನ್ವರ್ಟ್ ಆಗಿದೆ ನಂಗಂತೂ ಇವಾಗ ನಿಜವಾಗ್ಲೂ ತಲೆ ಕೆಟ್ಟೋಗಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಅದು ಈ ಪೂರ್ತಿ ನಿದ್ದೆ ಮಾಡಿದ್ದಾರೆ ನಾನು ಆಲ್ ಫೈಲ್ಸ್ ಗಾಟ್ ಕರಪ್ಟೆಡ್ ಐ ಡೋಂಟ್ ನೋ ವಾಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪನ್ಸ್ ಮ್ಯಾಮ್ ಚೆಕ್ ಡೆಸ್ ಕಾಕೆ ಮ್ಯಾಮ್ ಕಾಲ್ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಸೇ ಎಚ್ ಕೆ ಡಿ ಎಸ್ ಕೆ ಸ್ಲೇಫ್ ಎಫ್ ಎನ್ ಎಫ್ ಎಲ್ಲ ಆಯ್ತು ರಾತ್ರಿ ಕಮಾಂಡ್ ಲೈನ್ ಹೋಗ್ಬಿಟ್ಟು ಕೆಲಸ ಬೆಳಗಿನ ಜಾವ ತನಕ ಅದೇ ಕತೆ ಹೊಡೆದಿದ್ದೀನಿ ನಾನು ಗೆಟ್ ಸಿ ಎಚ್ ಏನಾದರೂ ಸಪೋರ್ಟ್ ತಗೊಳ್ಳೋಣ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಯಾರು ಇಲ್ಲ ನಮಗೆ ಶೂ ಇದು ಏನು ಆಟ ಆಡ್ತಾ ಇದೆ ಇದು ತಡೆ ಮ್ಯಾಮ್ ಮ್ಯಾಮ್ ಮಲ್ ಮ್ಯಾಮ್ ಮಲ್ ಕಾಂಟ್ ಮ್ಯಾಮ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಎರರ್ ಮ್ಯಾಮ್ ಎರರ್ ಬರುತ್ತೆ ಮ್ಯಾಮ್ ಅಲ್ಲೇ ಕಾಣ್ತದ ಆಟೋಮ್ಯಾಟಿಕ್ ಆಗಿ ಸರಿಗಿಲ್ಲ ಅಲ್ವಾ ಅದು ಪೈತನ್ Hmm. Hmm. Okay, but it's very nice features it has got. Okay. It's very slow, ma'am. Namaste. Yeh na ki diyo. Function. Okay. Type mismatch display. Yeh na problem maridi na wo type mismatch in ka itu adu. Because we have not declared the prototype. How the... Yes, ma'am. Yeah. So because we are defining after the main. Right. Hey, uh, all so of you know, Kannada, because like when I'm talking to one student in Kannada, others may feel, uh, okay. Uh, Ma'am, except so, Tirti and Sonu, everyone knows Kannada. Okay. And this group, I think. Sonu Shroff? Yes, yeah. ma'am. Are you following what I'm trying to say? Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir, no? Yeah. So, what yes, is the prototype I have to use? void what is the written type void what is the functioning display display okay. since the function angular brackets and semicolon right so now with this i think it will work fine hope i it will work fine alva appa yes ma'am nagata okay okay next alt one so alt or yeah so trace madad beda alva thumba length idre namge bore trace madake okay so just uh, five elements okay now enter some elements say 4 5 6 3 2 okay so now uh, i have not written any functionality for insertion deletion search so straight away i accept 4 hey we didn't use a scan if there mom we just gave print if how the print if there enter choice return choice choice one day we didn't accept the choice at all ma'am we accept okay First, wait come down we'll see that menu line mark will be available right no ma'am ma'am choice ige ah ch is equal to kotta devala like ch is equal to menu 
yeah it will go to the menu function isn't it yeah yeah we are calling the whatever is returned in merchant to see it ma'am okay it will go to yes. ma'am but in the menu function also we have not taken the input okay yeah okay ma'am menu ho gaya ma'am yes very good observation yeah nice hmm good yaarappa helidu vaishalini idu nanu onchu change idella display mode la Okay. Very good, Vaishnavi. Okay. So, what are you talking about, Vaishnavi? Scan if, scan if. Choice. Percentage D. Yeah. Yenta thay samma. Address only value hape kalva pa. So then, am percent choice. This choice in the kudak sadhya na. No, no, no. Ha. Idu nag nap cut ko beko. Adhe difference. Nim pay pay thana le na gatay. ಎಲ್ಲ ಇನ್ಪುಟ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರಿಂಗ್ ಆಗಿ ಇದಾಗತ್ತೆ ದಟ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಕನ್ವರ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ಇಂಟೀಜರ್ ಟು ಲೈಕ್ ದಟ್ ಅಲ್ವಾಪ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಇಂಟೀಜರ್ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಇಂಟೀಜರ್ ಫ್ಲೋಟ್ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಫ್ಲೋಟ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಬಿ ವೆಲ್ ಡಿಫೈನ್ಡ್ ಓಕೆ ಆಲ್ ವೆರಿಯಬಲ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ವೆಲ್ ಡಿಫೈನ್ಡ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಸ್ಪೆಸಿಫಿಕೇಶನ್ಸ್ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಗಿವ್ ಕರೆಕ್ಟ್ಲಿ ಅಂಡ್ ಅಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ವೆನ್ ಯುವರ್ ರಿಕ್ವೈರ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಚೇಂಜಸ್ ಯು ಕೆನಾಟ್ ಡೂ ಅಸ್ ಯು ವಿಶ್ ಓಕೆ ಟೈಪ್ ಕ್ಯಾಸ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಡೂ how you can do the type casting okay so the moment i say uh, for example if i want to convert this i to float how how do i get convert i to float you remember you might have done that suppose i want to convert this i to float okay then how do i do float like this bracket i so the moment i use like this this gets converted to i <coughs> this is called built in type casting okay now so this is also possible because the moment what will happen is if i uh, uh, do this division say uh, okay i'll declare one more one more variable called float float f okay now here f equal to i slash 2 okay the moment i say i slash 2 what is the value will be returned for example i value is 10 uh, or i value is 9 9 by 2 what is the answer first 4.5 will it be assigned to f no no you try that why because i is integer 2 is integer if you want to like if one of the like numerator or denominator is float then only it will do the float division so for that you need to write it as 2.0 or otherwise you have to convert or you have to type cast to float like this okay so these are the options available to you available to you so the moment you make this as i to float then it will do perform which kind of uh, division float division now we'll get 4.5 or otherwise when you divide i that is 9 by 2 you'll get only the value equal to 4 even though the result you are assigning to the float variable this this details you need to know can you try all these things when you are writing the program yeah hope everyone will do that madhuri rapa yes ma'am yes ma'am yeah. and uh, here this menu will be displayed only once but i need to perform this all these operations infinitely right so i may require to do three times insertion four times deletion display many time and even as now how long i need to do this till the user presses which choice choice 5 you need to perform this infinitely okay for that reason so how i i should enclose this uh, um, accepting the choice and uh, switching to that function while 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 i not equal I, to 5 uh adru badlu while one anta hakbena okay. while one okay while one anta ante enu infinite loop hogta irutte howda while true so infinite huh. while true always it will be splitting will lean maartta idini andre balvant vagi 5 the moment uh, uh, you input other than that value it will come out of the loop 
ಅಲ್ವಾ ಎಕ್ಸಿಟ್ ಝೀರೋ ಕೊಟ್ಟಿರೋದ್ರಿಂದ ಇಫ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಎಕ್ಸಿಟ್ ಝೀರೋ ಆಸ್ ವೈಶಾಲಿನಿ ಟೋಲ್ಡ್ ಓಕೆ ಕೇಸ್ ಫೈ ವೈಲ್ ಸಿ ಹೆಚ್ ನಾಟ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಫೈ ಲೈಕ್ ದಟ್ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಗಿವ್ ದ ಆರ್ ಸಿ ಹೆಚ್ ಲೆಸ್ ದನ್ ಫೈ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಗಿವ್ ದ ಕಂಡೀಷನ್ ಓಕೆ ಓಕೆನಾ it all depends on you how you are going to write the program but this should be done infinitely okay now can we run this program now yeah what error mistake madidvi in error madidvi one more bracket extra hakidivi haus ma redeclaration so redeclaration anta helta ide idu so here switch gondu while gondu correct agide and for loop inondu okay and um, am i terminated okay so when you are writing the program please make sure that nandu idu sulpa screen the settings change maadkonda the next time it scroll aagtane ide i don't know this on this i have to change settings okay so you have to make use of the convention like how in python you are using tab the same convention you use in the main these are the statements put a tab and below the for loop one statement is there put a tab and here while below the while you have some statements okay so now look at here how many parentheses i need to have here three one more parenthesis is it required to have here because one is for speech in an parenthesis have it kitta nodi no nodi ini main alli bandu okay two while two parenthesis three parenthesis hoda so ye list close agide one ಟು ಇಟ್ಸ್ ರೈಟ್ ಸೊ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಅಸ್ಟೇಕ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಡನ್ ದೆನ್ ಎರಡು ಒನ್ ಟು ಟೀಸ್ ರೈಟ್ ಸೊ ಹಿಯ ಫಾಯ್ಸ್ ಓಕೆ ಒನ್ ಟು ಓ ಹೌ ಕಮ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಬೀಂಗ್ ಡಿಲೀಟೆಡ್ ಡಿಫೈನ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ವಿ ಅಲ್ವಾ ನಾವು ಡಿಸ್ಪ್ಲೇನ ಹೌದು ಮ್ಯಾಮ್ ಸೊ ಅದೇ ಆಗ್ತದೆ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಹೌದು ಮ್ಯಾಮ್ ಡಿಸ್ಪ್ಲೇ ಮಾಡಿದ್ವಿ ವಾಯ್ಸ್ ಹಾಕ್ಬಿಡಿ ಮ್ಯಾಮ್ ಮತ್ತೆ ಅಷ್ಟೆ ವಾಯ್ಸ್ ಡಿಸ್ಪ್ಲೇ ಸೊ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ನಂಗೆ ಇದು ಡ್ಯಾನ್ಸ್ ಆಡ್ತಾ ಇದೆಯಲ್ಲ ಯಾವ ತರ ಕಾನ್ಫಿಗರ್ ಮಾಡಬೇಕು ನಂಗೆ ಹೇಳ್ತೀಯಾಪ್ಪ ರಿಟ್ರೀಕ್ ಹಾ ನಂದು ಕರ್ಜರ್ ತುಂಬಾ ಡಿಸ್ಪ್ಲೇಯಿಂಗ್ four is the choice okay so is it uh, looking neat is it looking neat oh ma'am no okay ma'am so why why neat? because ma'am nearly choice comma cho- like enter your choice comma choice and quote really so some which value it is throwing mm-hmm. okay yeah so we'll see that we'll debug look at here now it's five okay so we'll set it five now nice you have performed all operations on array and then okay so what mistake i have done there ali percentage choice anta kodbidini kodbeka tara kodtara iradru 
ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಆಕ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ ಎಂಟರ್ ಇವರ್ ಚಾಯ್ಸ್ ಅಂತ ಕೊಡ್ಬೇಕಾಗಿತ್ತು ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಇದು ಚಾಯ್ಸ್ ಏನು ಇನ್ನ ಅಕ್ಸೆಪ್ಟೇ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಂಡಿಲ್ಲ ವೆನ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಅಕ್ಸೆಪ್ಟೆಡ್ ಎನಿ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ಟು ದ ಚಾಯ್ಸ್ ಸಮ್ ಜಂಕ್ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ದೇರ್ ಇಸಂಟ್ ಏಜ್ that it yes, was playing 8 yeah so we'll see that window what it was displayed so in the first time it was it, it has displayed okay uh, zoom man uh, control uh, the f5 uh, for zooming this window look at here so what it was printed 803 then i have accepted the 4 then again in the next iteration it was choice was 5 how the makla how the yes yes ma'am so uh, that's the reason uh, okay so if you trace it all this you can come out when you uh, don't you rectify these errors when you trace these programs yeah yes or no okay so this is how you have to write the program please don't write all together at one shot plus first try to execute the program okay like modular wise so if it is working menu driven is working fine okay then you add the functionality like this display then display is variations essential right and then insert and then delete so when you want to insert the element so how do you insert the element to the array can you insert always towards the end of the array or beginning of the array how do you insert how do you insert paid back up answer mad beko not whatever position index is value ma'am yes ma'am whatever yeah, index position value okay so it can be index or position if it is index exactly if i say 0 0 is the index at 0th index only you are uh, insert so in, uh, in order to insert the element at 0th index you need to what push towards down right all the elements which are there in the array you have to push towards down yes ma'am so One, you have to make a placement to insert that and then you are inserting yes so if it is position if it is first position it is nothing but you are inserting in the first index itself that is zeroth index alwapa so you specify correctly is it you want to input a uh, index or position okay it's left to you yes ma'am in c one here difference ma'am if in c it will push ma'am in python it will replace that element only okay. if you uh, see here we are implementing there you have already functions right so built in methods are there to perform all that but in c you are implementing by yourself yes so this you are defining up it's left to you how you are going to define so you want to insert in the particular index or particular position its implementation is left to you so for that reason okay so why shalini you don't want to pass any parameter to the function right so then where i where you are required to input the value that is position or index value in we should have passed uh you can pass or otherwise even now instead of that you can accept the position from the user in which function insert function insert function right? yeah yes. in delete function only right even for search in search you have to input key value right that you can get the input from the user in which function in which function in the search function yes if you want to search yes yeah. yes can you do this implementation when you are coming for the next class yes ma'am yeah so how how will you do all together can you write and mess up everything chitranna maadkon bartira athwa first insert maadi ad correct ag work aagtidiya check maadi amel delete amel search maadtira heg maadtira will follow modularity and do it yes it's structured okay you have to follow that structured programming yen andre ni vakasmat ondu eradu tappagidrunu at least okay ee huduga papa elements na accept maadkonidane arege display maartta idane insert aagta ide delete aagta illa search aagta illa let me cut only few marks anta baruthe teacher ge alva appa ella mess up maadkondu if everything is messed up and at the end of that uh, uh, like uh, 
uh, like last minute even if you are unable to correct the compilation or error uh, errors also then what is the use in uh, writing the program okay writing the program is a skill please practice by yourself like this you have to practice okay during the practice session marti raithara yeah so please yes, organize yes. your thoughts what you are supposed to do that is what the algorithm is so first plan it what is your problem you are required to perform some operations on the array so then what is how you have to organize first you are required to create the array then you are required to perform this operations so since it is done iteratively you may require to make it as menu driven when you want to make it menu driven first you have to write a function to display the menu and then one by <coughs> one when choice equal to this one you may require to insert choice equal to two delete okay so add the functionality for these cases okay now pa what the mad bedi okay na that's the reason why i have entered in in front of you only even though it's taking more time and uh, for me it is tedious task also um, purposely i entered the program in front of you this is the reason so that next subsequent classes i wanted you to practice in this way can you all can you all do that yes yes ma'am yes so yes. all the best yeah all the best and i am giving you a bigger task than what uh, like simple task what i have done compared to that insertion deletion and uh, uh, search search is linear search is sufficient because again if you want to apply that binary search how the elements of the array will be ascending okay. order yeah ascending or descending order okay descending so order. usually we'll take uh, ascending order only the logic uh, most of the time what program you are writing would be in ascending order only okay so that's the reason uh, when you want to search you apply linear search it's more than enough okay so this is the first program you need to practice for the next uh, next lab session can you all do that yeah yes ma'am yes ma'am hope everyone followed yes ma'am yeah so yes, i wanted feedback if i uh, like show the demonstration for linked list also i'll show one like this okay is it beneficial for you or you don't want me to give the uh, demo you please tell me so that we will try it out ma'am we'll try it out once ma'am then later if no one if no one gets then you give the demo no no like uh, uh, so tracing and all there is a way to uh, write the program okay so uh, i'll not give in detail everything okay so i'll just give the template like this for you so you have to fill that template so how many yes ma'am this is it? better uh, yeah who is that Um, okay, Paishani. Okay, next, Ramya. Ramya. Yeah. What do you wanted, ma? Ramya. Ma'am, we only write, ma'am. In a pa? Ma'am, we only like 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 write it, ma'am. Without okay. without any tem template, so that we will so that we will think <laughs> instead of you giving. the template yeah i am not giving uh, much template any data structure this is what the menu driven will be for everything it's like this only okay so uh, what we can do is uh, i can show you the demonstration how you can create the linked list and like that tracing part that i can show you how you can trace so that it will be easy for you to in case of any mistake if you have done 